All right, guys, uh, good team win. Now, I'm proud of our football team. I'm proud of our coaching staff. They worked very hard this week. We've been working on a set rate ever since last year. We made some improvement, obviously. I wish we could have finished a little bit harder in the third or fourth quarter. We ran out of gas. But give them credit. You know, they made some plays and they fought back. The offense made some plays when they had to. I didn't think that we uh, had the same reoccurring problems that we did last year as far as the crossing rounds and guys wide open. Uh, our plan was to let them throw the fall in front of us, maybe give up some gaps running, but not be deep. And uh, for the most part, we did that. Not every time. But I thought our guys did well, tackled well in space. Offense made plays when we had to. We still have some protection issues that we have to fix. But overall, good team win, five team. Any questions? Ed, you mentioned just the scheme, that three two six. Where did y'all sort of get the idea, and how, when did you start implementing that look? You know, we've been thinking about that since uh, the Sunday after our game last year. And really, we watched Arkansas and that, what Arkansas had done to them. We really studied Arkansas's film a lot. We made a couple adjustments. Uh, give the uh, credit to our coaching staff. Everybody pitched in. Uh, Durante did a great job of implementing our guys had a great job in believing in it. Uh, it was a little different for us because, you know, when you lead the nation in sacks, it's hard to go a three-man rush, but we had to I mean, hard, hard to do it. And, uh, but we gave up something. We told them as long as they don't beat the ball deep, we wanted to build a fence and make them throw the ball in front of us. And uh, for the most part, it worked. Kind of similar to that theme, the patience that you had to have, you know, just watching the game on yeah. TV for the first time. You know, obviously that was uh, – Different, and you know, a lot of people were very anxious yeah. about that. Yeah, we knew we knew they were going to throw the ball short. We were, I was clapping every time they threw the ball short, and uh, I knew I knew that there wasn't going to be enough points or enough yardage to beat us if they kept on throwing the ball short. We we're going to tackle the guys, and we'll make it tough sledding for them to score. Uh, obviously, the explosive plays was killed us last year, so that's why we went to eight man drop. But again, give our, our staff some credit; they worked very hard. But you know what? Give the players some credit, especially our linebackers, our corners, and our DBs. Uh, that's a new scheme. We had never played that scheme before, and I, I, you know, we, we practiced it this week, and our guys did a tremendous job of working it. And then, Ed, uh, offensively, you know, you guys obviously create some big explosive plays, but was there anything you think you guys did to kind of create those plays? What do you think of it? Take now, say it again. What, whatever you said, what we did to make those plays? Yeah, if, you, if there's anything you guys did to kind of create those and what you saw overall. Yeah, you know, first of all, you know, zero blitz is going to, you know, they're going to blitz, but they're going to give you some, they're going to give you some space. But what the first play uh, in the second half was an RPO. Uh, I can hear Jake on, on the uh, headset, the safety's coming down, we're going to throw it to Kishon. So it was a combination of hitting them where they had open holes and a great calling. Uh, you know, that was an RPO to Kishon, was, and that was a big, a big, uh, Play uh, was a pick route, uh, not those, not those two guys down. And they was a big uh, touchdown by eighty-seven. I think it was a good play calling uh, by our offensive scheme. Still, uh, we still have some protection problems that we need to fix. Uh, Coach, you know, uh, just to ask you this question about the Mississippi State offense, uh, you you had no respect for the well, I want to say respect. You didn't think they would check down the field at all doing in this game. You expect all short throws. Yes. Uh, say that again. We didn't. Uh, we, you know, we didn't. We didn't worry about the short throws. We wanted them to throw the short throws. Uh, it was those dig routes behind our fence. It was the crossing routes uh, that gave us some problem last year. It was guys wide open. We thought that if they threw the ball in front of us, uh, we win and we can tackle the ball. We and you, we knew we couldn't get impatient. Now, at first, we started running the ball, and you know we had to make some adjustments. Uh, we'll we had a pass rush move with, with our ends. We had to make an adjustment to stop the run. I think we stopped the run, but it hurt our pass rush. But you can't do both in a three-man rush. You either stop the run or rush the passer. Yeah, but I thought our coaches did a good job of adjusting throughout the game. I uh, wish we could have finished strong. The opening drive of the game, and Cornell they were changed. Talk about that play and the interception he made first. Yeah, well, you know, obviously, I think, I don't, I don't think they I don't think they expected us to be in a three man front. I think that we gave them a little bit different stuff. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what they practiced, but we had never shown it. So I think I, I imagine it was a combination of us being in the right place and it was something new that they had to adjust. But as you know, Coach Leach is a very veteran coach and 
and they made some adjustments in the second half. Hey, Coach, uh, you mentioned the tackling, uh, but particularly out of the secondary with you guys obviously losing Derek mm-hmm. and then bringing um, yeah. you know, Jay Ward and Dwight McLaughlin back this week. Just, just how impressed were you with the tackling of the secondary and executing this game plan? Yeah, we had a meeting this morning about uh, 6.30 with the coaching staff. Corey Raymond was steaming. I never seen him like that, man. He was still pissed from last year. And he says, Coach, we fixed the play well today. He was very motivational today. He taught his guys well. I think we worked well on tackling all week. Uh, but you know, we got we had some good athletes in there. Uh, in the secondary, we've improved in our tackling. I wish we'd have we wouldn't have gave up that touchdown. Uh, we bit on we bit on a little hitch route where we shouldn't have. There's still some things to improve. Just uh, Josh, the uh, with the Clark with the team in the fourth straight game. Uh, what do you have to say about his production, his role this season? Yeah, one of the things that we, you know, Demond and I are very close. I recruited him. Uh, great parents. Uh, you know, we talked about what he has to improve on, and one of the things we had to improve on was open field tackling. The other thing he had to improve on was using his hands. The other thing he wanted to improve on was pass coverage. And Damone's an excellent young man. He's a hard worker. And uh, obviously, he looks like an NFL linebacker out there, and now he's playing like one. And uh, I want him to have the, all the success he can. You know, he stayed in state. He came to LSU. He's a great young man. He's a great student. I hope he has all the success he can. Hey, Ed. Uh, Sheldon Winkles from the Advocate. Uh, Jack took my question about Cordell. But how did those two uh, – Turnovers kind of set the tone for your defense in the first half, and how did you feel at halftime? You had to be excited at halftime. Yeah, I was excited. You know, we, hey, we say, Sheldon, big plays fuel emotion. And, you know, we had to take the crowd out of the game. And uh, we, we were going to take the football. We were going to take the football and give the ball to the offense, go down there and score. But they, they decided to take the ball, so they beat us to the punch. But uh, us having uh, those turnovers kind of took their crowd, the crowd out of the game a little bit, gave our guys some confidence. I felt good going into halftime, but I knew it was going to be a 60 minute game. I knew those guys would adjust to what we were doing, and uh, they came back. They, you know, good coaching staff, got some good players. I wish we would have finished better. Thanks. Hey, uh, Jeff Nowak, WWO Radio. Uh, one stat that really stood out to me total plays, Mississippi State had 88 yeah. to 54. Yeah. You know, y'all had three touchdowns of over 40 yards in the second half. Right. Is that kind of the system, you know, the big playability with these dynamic wide yeah. receivers? Is that your the vision you're looking for in this offense? Yeah. Is that you kind know, of just yeah. dyna- dynamic. Well, hey, we're gonna take the we're gonna take the big plays the way we can get them, but knowing that we were gonna make them throw the ball in front of them, of us, and not give them big plays, we knew they were gonna have long drives, as long as they didn't score. And our defense did get tired. We need to rotate a little bit better. Uh, 80-something plays are probably the most plays we played this year or close to it. And uh, we need to get used to that if we're going to play that type of defense against the spread offense. Hey, 